Hello and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr Barton, where each week I try my very best to pick you out a delightful question from the world of GCSE Maths that has been kindly shared with my Diagnostic Questions website by each of the exam boards. And these questions are designed to prepare you as best as humanly possible for the demands of this new GCSE. Now, I always pick questions that are a little bit different. And indeed, this question is brand new to GCSE Maths. And that's why I think it's causing a lot of problems on the Diagnostic Questions website. But we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll be absolutely fine. So, it's been uploaded by OCR. And it goes a little something like this. Craig has five shirts, four pairs of trousers, and six pairs of socks. Lucky man. How many different combinations of shirts, trousers, and socks does he have? Now, it's almost kind of like a logic problem, this. And, and the actual topic itself has got a couple of names. Strategic listing strategies is one of them. Sounds a bit posh. Product rule for counting is another. I don't know. I just kind of call it combinations. All right. Now, for regular viewers, it'll be no surprise what's about to happen next. I'm going to draw a diagram. Um, always the best way to approach these questions every single time. Okay. So I can't draw. That's been well established. So no chance of my attempt to draw a shirt. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get a little colour system going here. And I'm just going to deal with the shirts and trousers first. We'll leave the socks for later. Because if we can get the answer for the shirts and trousers, the socks will fall into place. Okay. So five shirts. I'm going to represent them with five blobs. One, two, three, four, five. There's me five shirts. Now let's get myself four pairs of trousers. One, two, three three, four. And the first question I'm going to try and address is how many different combinations of shirts and trousers can I have? Well, let's think about this logically. Here's my first shirt. I could put that with that pair of trousers. There's one. Or I could put it with that pair of trousers. There's two. Or I could put it with that pair of trousers. Three. Or I could put it with that pair of trousers. Four. So I've already got four different combos straight away. But who's to say I'm going to wear that first shirt? Instead, I might like the look of this shirt. So I could put this shirt with that pair of trousers, that pair of trousers, that pair of trousers, or that pair of trousers. So I've got another four. But then again, who's to say I'm a fan of that shirt? Instead, I might decide to choose this third shirt and put it with that pair of trousers, that pair of trousers, that pair of trousers, or that pair of trousers. And this fun continues because by the time we get to the fourth shirt, oh, hello, my pen would work. Uh, that fourth shirt could go with four pairs of trousers and the fifth shirt could go with four pairs of trousers. So, and every one of those combinations is completely different. So how many have I got? Well, four, 8, 12, 16, I've got 20 different combos. So there's 20 different combinations of shirts and trousers. And how did I get that 4? Well, it's 4 times by 5. 4 times by 5 is going to give me the 20. But now, imagine I've got those 20 combinations, and then I've got to start thinking about my pairs of socks. So let's go imagine my socks are this colour. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 five, six pairs of socks. So each of those 20 combinations, so these 20 combinations will be right, kind of little things like this. Well, in fact, let me go for a white so you can see. So I've got like now 20 combinations going on and each one of these 20 could go with six pairs of socks. And every one of those would be completely different. So I would end up with oh, six and then I'd have another six and I'd have another six, da, 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 and another six. How many sixes would I have in total? Well, there'd be 20 sets of them, right? 20 lots of six. So how many combinations am I going to have? 120 completely different combinations. And that comes from saying I add five different shirts, four socks, put them together, give me 20. Then each of those 20 has six different uh, socks that could come from it. Sorry, five shirts, four trousers, and six different pairs of socks that could come from it. And that's going to give me 120 different possible combinations. So there's my answer. But you know what I'm going to say to you next, right? The fun's just getting started here. Don't leave me now because let's have a think where some of these wrong answers come from. Where would 26 come from? Well, I think this is a bit unlucky, this. I reckon 26 is somebody who's done this bit. Four times five is 20. They're laughing there. They've got 20. Then they thought, oh, 
Let's just add six pairs of socks on the end. No, 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 no. Each of those pairs of socks can go with each of those 20. So there's 20 lots of six, not 20 plus six. What about three? Oh, three's, three's not so good. Three's just saying, well, there's a shirt, trousers, socks, three different items, uh, three different combos. And 15, 15's a common one, right? 15, you can see that. Five plus four plus six. There's got to be 15 different combos, but no, we've got to multiply. And we've seen why with this diagram, hopefully. Um, but you know what I like to do at the end of these videos? I like to set you a challenge of coming up with some extra ones, some extra wrong answers. So what would be another good wrong answer? Well, I was thinking that you might do your socks and your trousers first. So you might go six times four. Oh, hello. Oh, flipping heck. The electronic ink is running out again here. Six times four, 24. And then, all looking good, but then you decide to add your five on instead of times in by five, you end up with 29. So 29 could be one per potential option. And another one I thought of is 240. Now, you'd be a bit unlucky to come up with 240, but it could happen. Can you see how you get that? Well, I was thinking, you do your four times five and you get your 20. So every, again, everything's looking good there. But then you say, well, wait a minute. I've got six pairs of socks, but in each sock, there's two socks. So instead of times in by six, you times by 12 or you times by six and then you double your answer. But of course, what we're assuming here is that the socks go together in pairs. So you can't be splitting your socks up left, right and center. Okay, so there it is. As I say, it's brand new to GCSE. My strong advice will be to do a diagram every time. And um, I'd also advise you to try the rest of this quiz out because it tests a lot of different skills there. Um, and also, if you're struggling with this, uh, just look up systematic listing strategies, everybody's new favorite topic. On mrbartomaths.com, you'll find worksheets, videos, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.